Today we're gonna to take the charcoal that I've made through the pyrolysis and we're going to turn that into biochar now. I've already ran it through my wood chipper to get it as fine as I can. That way I'm creating more surface area and I'm able to spread it further and it's better able to work its way into the soil being finer. So right here is my 55 gallon drum where I've been placing all my charcoal after it's been wood chipped up. I'm gonna say I probably have about 40 gallons right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this up with some water and then we're gonna go ahead and activate it to turn it from charcoal into biochar. There are a couple different ways to take your charcoal and turn it into biochar. Now, one way is to just take this charcoal and add it to a compost pile and let that work its way in and it'll get all the microbes and the fungi that are in your compost, it'll get into it and then you'll have biochar and it's already incorporated into your compost. So then when you put that out in your garden, it's already, and it's already alive. Another way, if you don't need to necessarily add a lot of compost to an area, but you just want to improve your soil health, and you just want to add just the biochar, then you can activate the charcoal and make biochar and then spread it. So for me, what I like doing is the Jadam liquid fertilizer that I've made in some previous videos. I like to take that and add it to my charcoal and then also add in water. So that way this entire thing is submerged for about two weeks and then it'll be alive. It'll have this nice rich fertilizer in it and all those microbes that will eat and break this down. And then you can go out and spread it into your garden and you will now have good healthy biochar in your soil. So right here, I strained out some Jadam liquid fertilizer and I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in. Now, if you don't have Jadam liquid fertilizer, another great way doing the same process of just keeping your charcoal in a drum and then adding liquid to it. You could definitely put fish emulsion in here and water. Another way is to take worm castings. What you can do is take a five gallon bucket and a paint strainer, put worm castings in it, add a bunch of water, and then just kind of work it around so you're making an extract. It doesn't have to be warm tea where it's uh, cooked. This is just an extract where you're, where you're just washing all the microorganisms out of it into the water column and then you take that five gallon bucket and you pour it into here. There's not an exact uh, amount that you should add, so you're just gonna have to play with it if you do decide to make your own biochar. Like right now, I added one gallon of Jadam liquid fertilizer, but I'll probably add in a couple more gallons and then I'll add in, and then the rest of the drum will be water. So there isn't a set amount of either fertilizer or microorganisms that you need to add because there's just so much space in here. Uh, there's it's hard to say how much you'd actually need. So by taking a lot of worm castings and getting an extract out of that and then adding it in, you're gonna bring life to it. So you may wanna do 10 gallons or 15 gallons of the worm extract or 10 gallons of your Jadam liquid fertilizer. It's whatever you have to help bring life into this uh, charcoal to make it biochar. That's what matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some water into this. And I figure since we're talking about it, I may as well do it. So just in case you don't have Jadam liquid fertilizer available, or maybe you don't wanna use the fish emulsion, I'll show you how to do it with your worm castings. I have my finished worm castings right here that I've made. I'm just gonna take some and put them into, into this little mesh bag. All right, so now that I have this in my little mesh bag, I'm gonna go ahead and dunk this into the water now I'm just going to work the bag to get all the microbes loose and get them into the water column so that way when I put this water into this, uh, this container, it will be bringing all that beneficial life into this charcoal. Alright, so I've worked this for a few minutes. I've gotten a lot of nutrients out of it into the water, so I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side and now we can put this into our bucket. And you can just see just how dark this water has become from the worm castings. So now the charcoal is being completely filled by the water that has all of the beneficial microbes from the worm castings. And it also has the Jadam liquid fertilizer in here. Now we're just going to cover this up, keep it in a nice shady spot. So in about two weeks, I'm gonna come and check on this. 
Now, if it's nice and healthy and alive, you'll get almost like this uh, mycelium starting to grow on the edges. And that's how you know that it's alive and it's doing well. So then all we have to do is strain it off. We wanna get rid of all that excess liquid, which we can either use in the compost pile or use out in the garden because it is very good uh, nutrient and micro, microorganism filled water. So we can go ahead and use that out in the garden. And then the strained off biochar now, we can go ahead and put out in our garden. So if you have a raised garden bed, you just wanna put a little bit in, work it into that top inch of soil or so. And then you definitely wanna put some kind of mulch on this because we are talking about microorganisms and the sun, if they're out exposed, the sun is going to kill them off with the UV rays. So it's good to work this into that top inch or so of your soil and then go ahead and put a mulch on top to keep them alive and happy and healthy. That's it, it's that simple to take charcoal and turn it into biochar, which will go out into your garden, help create healthy soil and be there for a very long time. All right, so go out in the garden, go get dirty and I'll see you on the next one, bye.